Okay, what is it? Well, once a year, you see, you pay a percentage of your wealth and you give it to the poor. Okay? How do you calculate it? Well, I don't really know. Huh? What do you mean you don't know? Did you ever pay it? Well, uh, it's kind of complicated. Now, I, I, I don't really know how to, you know, you have to have a calculator and, 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 and. Are you a Muslim or what? No, I'm a Muslim, but I, I don't, I don't pay Zakat. What's this next one on here? Sam. No, that's Sam. Sam. Well, what is it? Fasting. Oh, yeah. Fast in Ramadan, no Ramadan, whatever. When is that? Well, actually, Ramadan is this month. It is? Really? It says here you're not supposed to eat or drink during the daylight hours. That's right. What are you doing with that Pepsi in your hand? Well, uh, see, uh, are you a Muslim or not? Yeah, I'm a Muslim, but... <laughs> I, 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 I don't fast, you know, I have this uh, st stomach then I've been thinking, you know. Uh, uh. Okay, never mind. What's the next one? Hajj. What's Hajj? No, 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 that's Hajj. Well, okay, and what is it? It says it's a pilgrimage. You got to go, where you got to go? I go to Mecca. Oh, you did? Well, no. But you're going to. Well, uh, uh. See, it costs a lot of money and you have to have time off from work and, and uh, you have to do something called tell off where you go around. Well, last year you took off a whole month and spent $10,000 taking your family to Florida at Disney World. What were you doing? Tell off around Mickey Mouse? Are you a Muslim? Well, I'm a Muslim, but <laughs> I, didn't do, I didn't do that. I see. Says here, says here that the women wear a hijab. No, no, it's hijab. Whatever. We saw your wife. <laughs> she sure isn't wearing that thing that shows in a picture. Well, yeah, we, we uh, see, it, it gets really hot and people might look at us and they might think that you know we're terrorists or something and so you know uh, well, we're Muslim but uh, <laughs> it says here that you guys are supposed to let your beards grow and your face is as smooth as a baby's bottom <laughs> well <laughs> I'm a Muslim but oh we got it you're a Muslim, but at least you got something that's Muslim. Now you need a backbone, some arms, legs, neck, head. You can be a whole Muslim instead of just the butt. How can I give dawah to somebody in that kind of condition? Now I said this and told it to you in a way that I'm sure when you leave, you're going to remember at least that part of it. But the reason for sharing it with you like this is so that when we do go out this door right here, we're not going to be the same person that came in. Because wallahi, whoever makes partners with Allah even a little bit, Allah will treat it as shirt. And there's no hope at all for that person. Do not take the deen the way of Allah lightly and remind your family and your children about the fire the fire that's made from men and stones that Allah warned us about in the Quran and he says ya yulladina amanu udkhulu fi silmi khafatan O you who believe enter into Islam perfectly and do not Follow the footsteps of the shaitan. Shaitan is very sneaky, very deviant. But his biggest problem is that he is fasik. Fasik. 
He refuses to obey Allah. He will not bow down. Is that true or false? Because he refuses to obey Allah, that is shirk. This is shirk because he's going to die on that. He will never, ever make tawbah. Therefore, when we see ourselves disobeying Allah, we should be scared. As long as you're alive, you can turn back to Allah and ask Him to forgive you. And that's worship too, asking Allah to forgive us and being sincere in it. But unless and until we really apply this deen in our lives, it's kind of hard to say, I'm a Muslim without saying that other word, but. So may Allah make all of us complete Muslims. Amin. May Allah forgive us and make us the people that we can be. Amin. Allah says, That He created the human beings in the best mold, the best shape. And reduced us down to the lowest of low. And it's because of our own sins, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. And he says that he will never change the condition of a people until the people do what? Huh? Change themselves. Is it? Let me give you this one last thing before I go sit down. The beautiful thing that I learned after I got to Islam. It was something that was gone from the Bible. I couldn't find it. There's a book called the Book of Jonah. A whole book called the Book of Jonah in the Old Testament. But it's missing this beautiful teaching. Jonah, Eunice, when he was inside the whale in the bottom of the sea. And he said these beautiful words. Not in the Bible, but you can get it in the Quran. La ilaha illa ante subhanaka ini kuntu minidhalameen. None to worship but you, Allah. The glory is to you. And for sure, I'm the one who did the wrongdoing to myself. Just before I got on the plane to come here to India, I met one of our beautiful brothers in the masjid where I pray. And he reminded me of that verse. And he said, Sheikh, did you know that in the sunnah, you add one word to this, and this makes it the dua. And it will work for anybody. He said, be sure and tell everybody. And I'm fulfilling my promise to him right now by telling you. Say, Allahumma. Hello, you are listening, yeah? Allahumma. Now say, La ilaha illa ante supanakaini kuntu minad alameen. Because if you put Allahumma first, this is asking Allah, Oh, our Lord. Oh, our God. Calling on him and saying, you are the only one worthy of my worship. My worship is for you, the Creator, not for this creation. The glory is to you. I did the wrongdoing myself. And then Allah will take away anything that's bothering you, hurting you, and change your condition because you're changing yourself. And this is one of the most powerful of all the du'as that you can make. It's the one we make when we're in Hajj, when we're in Umrah, when we're going around the Kaaba. It's the one we make in any difficulty. Allahumma la ilaha illa ante subhanaka. Any kuntum minid alameen. Remember that, especially in the night tonight. Get up and pray and mention this to Allah and watch your condition change. You're changing yourself. Even right now, imagine Allah is going to change your conditions. It's been great to be with all of you. My sincere dua with you. And remember that dua. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we'd like to open the floor for questions and answers. We would like for the non-Muslims in the audience to actually be the majority of question askers. And so we realize that this is an excellent opportunity for you, our non-Muslim guest, to ask questions because you're not always in this environment. We therefore give you priority at the microphones. So if there are any non-Muslims here in the audience, 
make yourself known to the volunteers and they will assist you in getting to the front of the line at any microphone except for the sister section if you're a man and then inshallah you can ask any question make any comment or offer any criticism because there are many misconceptions about Islam out there today we understand that some of the things you may want to ask may be controversial there is no problem with that you will not be angering or offending anyone with anything that you say if you feel it in your heart you can vocalize it here today and inshallah we'll try to remove any misconceptions if it's a misconception